Known to most of the world as gypsies, the Roma people have spread to every corner of the world today through oppression and personal choices. The Roma have faced persecution throughout their entire people's history. Today, we will talk about it along with the good that has also happened along the way. Hello, I am your host David, and this is Eurasia. Without further ado, let's talk about the history of the gypsies right now. The Roma people's history begins in India, where most archaeological evidence suggests that the Roma people first appeared north of modern-day New Delhi around 2,000 years ago. However, much of this evidence is hard to prove, as the Roma had not kept written records at the time. Most evidence comes from Indian and Persian sources, as well as modern-day archaeological digs. The Roma stayed in the area until about 500 AD, when war and famine pushed them out. Yet, they did not travel away in one group. Rather, they happened to split into smaller groups, with most traveling north and west. The Roma did not interact much with others in the area, nor were they usually perceived as dangerous. Thus, the Roma were able to keep much of their cultural traditions and appearance while migrating elsewhere. By the 12th century, the Roma people reached what is modern-day Georgia and the Levant, and by the year 1350, there were accounts of the Roma people being seen in modern-day Greece as well as North Africa. Finally, by the start of the 1500s, the Roma had made it all the way to Sweden and Scotland. The Roma were not unique in the sense that there were many semi-nomadic peoples throughout Europe, North Africa, and West Asia at the time. These wanderers, as many accounts call them, were treated horribly throughout Eurasia. Most countries and kingdoms expelled the Roma from their territory, as well as other wanderers. Before 1575, there were many laws that allowed or enforced the systematic killing of Roma. On top of this, the Egyptians Act of 1530 was passed by the British Parliament, expelling all Roma to Egypt. This would stay in effect another 326 years until it was repealed in 1856. Thanks to this law, the most Roma do not live in Europe or Asia today, but rather in Egypt with a population of about 1.8 million. However, as the turn of the century approached, these laws were relaxed. In Russia, Catherine the Great gave the Roma the ability to be so-called crown slaves with special privileges. France and England also gave them similar statuses. Nonetheless, the Roma were still slaves. Perhaps the greatest success story comes out of Moldavia, which consists of modern-day Romania, Ukraine, and Moldova, where a Roma peasant named Stefan Razvan rose to become the prince in 1595. These relaxed oppressive laws continued until the end of the 1600s, where the laws became increasingly more oppressive. Though most countries were becoming more aggressive against the Roma, the Netherlands and Spain were especially violent. In 1717, the Spanish declared the Roma to be illegal settlers and they were rounded up and imprisoned in what is now called the Great Gypsy Roundup. This continued for most of the 18th century in Spain. However, today, about 1 million Romas still live in Spain. Even more horrific than that was the Dutch heathen hunt of the 1700s, where the Roma were hunted and killed by the Dutch government and citizens alike. The policies that were used by the Spanish and Dutch would spread throughout Western and Central Europe by the end of the 1700s. As a result of this, most Roma moved east, especially into Poland, Russia, and the Ottoman Empire, where the Roma were treated relatively well by this time. Today, there are about 500,000 Romas living in Russia today, and another 750,000 living in Turkey. Yet, most of the Roma in Western and Central Europe who did not move east would later migrate to the United States. Today, about 1 million Roma live in the United States. This trend toward migration to the Americas would continue even into today, where Brazil and Argentina have more than 1 million Roma living there combined. By the start of the 1900s, the many Roma that had lived in Western Europe had mostly left. Poland held a large majority of them. 
Yet, with the onset of World War II, the Holocaust, or Por Ajmos, as it is named specifically for the Roma people, would include the extermination of the majority of the European Roma. Approximately 600,000 Romas were killed, or about 60% of Europe's population of Romas at the time. Much like the treatment of Jews after World War II in Europe, the laws significantly improved to become more equal on both sides of the Iron Curtain for the Roma. There were still attempts to introduce forced sterilization upon the Roma in countries like Czechoslovakia up until a few decades ago. Yet, this anti-Gypsy sentiment is still alive today. This is especially true in Italy, where, in the past decade, a few Romas have committed crimes which led to many Italian vigilantes killing Romas in response. Nearly 82% of Italians hold negative views of Roma people. The rest of Europe sways between 30 and 75%. Today, there are significant populations of Roma in Egypt, the United States, Russia, Brazil, Spain, Turkey, France, and many other countries. Since most Roma are still semi-nomadic to this day, the Roma are spread quite evenly across the entire globe. Yet, in countries like Bulgaria, North Macedonia, and Slovakia, Roma make up about 10% of their population. This trend is similar to much of the other Balkan countries. Most Roma speak the dialect of the Romani language as well as their country's lingua franca. In the same way, though the Roma have kept much of their traditions, they usually have adopted the religion and culture of the region in which they are living as well. As probably already evident, though Roma are classified the same no matter if they live in Spain, Siberia, or Syria, the Roma people today have a very diverse culture adapted to where they live and thus, it is hard to talk about the culture of the Roma today. All in all, if history has taught us anything, it is that though times may be relatively good for the Roma at the moment, that may change at any moment. The Roma are spread throughout the world, and their people face challenges every day. Hopefully, the angered people of the world will be able to find common ground with the Roma people and live peacefully together with these very unique and interesting people. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay happy, stay humble, stay hopeful, and goodbye.